Hey, this is Jake with The Verge, and today we're taking a first look at Project Spartan, which is Microsoft's replacement for Internet Explorer in Windows 10. It just released a first preview of it, and there are three major features that you can check out already. The first of those is a reading view, and that basically strips away everything that's going on in an article and gives you a plain text, no images, no videos, no ads. Just a really neat way to read through something. You've probably seen stuff like this before with Pocket or Instapaper. It's in other web browsers. Um, it was even in early versions of Internet Explorer. But it's neat and clean here and really easy to tap into. The other features that you can already demo in Project Spartan are the beginnings of Cortana. And right now Cortana it can basically just be used as a dictionary. If you right click you can ask Cortana to define words and it'll pop up right beside it. Eventually Cortana is going to do a lot more. The cal like calendar information, flight information is going to show up there. You'll be able to look up locations and you'll get rich information back from Bing. That's mostly not there right now. But this is the start. This is what it's going to look like for the most part. And the final feature, and this is one that Microsoft has been showing off quite a lot about, is WebNote, which is where you can tap this little drawing icon in the corner, and then you can start annotating web pages. So right here I'm circling Project Spartan because circles are the main thing you can do. But you can highlight parts that you think is important. And the main thing is once you're done, you can then go out and share it to OneNote or fire it off on Twitter or something. So that's what we've got from Project Spartan so far. It's a little bit buggy, a little early, and things are probably going to change over the next few months as Microsoft prepares it for Windows 10. But this is the start of Microsoft's new web browser. And it's really important that this is going to be a new browser. Uh, Project Spartan isn't going to be the final name. We expect it to be renamed something, probably with Microsoft in front of it. And that's really the key here. Internet Explorer has had a bad name since basically the mid-2000s, and that's kept a lot of people away from it. Once Microsoft replaces it in Windows 10, there's a hope that it'll be able to get people back on board again, and it's hoping these flashy new features will just help that.